How's it going, guys? I'm also welcome back to another episode of Aussie's Mailbag. I'm really, really, really excited. First of all, I have new glasses and I'm really excited about them, so I'm gonna wear them. I know we're getting a little reflection in there, but what do you reckon? Lovely, lovely pair of Ray Bans. Oh, we've got the focus thing happening again. There we go. Look at that. Aren't they smexy? I really love them. And they're so much lighter and better and crisper and clearer. Oh, they're just wonderful. So now that I'm working in optometry or that sort of thing, you will be seeing rants of me talking about eye care. And if you're on my Facebook and your twi in Twitter, you would have seen me a little bit concerned. Book an eye test if you haven't had one in the last two years. But oh, that's a rant for another time. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is, yes, The Walking Dead episode 5 is out, from what I understand. <clears throat> It's updated on my Steam, however, I've been working a lot. Um, I won't be playing it until the weekend, until my day's off. So for that, I'm on hiatus. So if I haven't replied to your comments, there's a reason for that, because I'm not reading any comments. I won't be reading the comments from this thing. So if, yeah, for any reason, <laughs> I haven't uploaded The Walking Dead because I haven't played it yet. And I'm technically on hiatus from the internet. So um, hopefully you guys understand that now. And if you see anyone asking me, because sometimes people are just numpties and just don't read anything or follow me on Facebook or Twitter um, and they still ask me, where is episode 5 of the Walking Dead? You can say, Dini already fucking told you. <laughs> I don't know how many times I'm going to have to say, there's always, there's always one though. From there, we are going to open up some mail. I'm so excited. This one is from Sweden. <laughs> Look at that. Priority. They might say that a bit differently though. I don't know. So, I have skizzers this time, but I don't need that for a letter. So, let's, let's see how we go. I'm so excited. I love receiving mail from you guys. It's, it's just the best thing in the whole wide world. Oh my god. Okie dokie. Maybe that picture is explained in the mail. Hello and greetings from Sweden, Oz. Alright, sorry, I have to say it like that, Sweden. <laughs> First off, sorry, all you're getting is boring computer type letter. What? No, sorry. I meant to write it by hand, but after a few attempts, I realized my handwriting would make you think I'm a cave troll. <laughs> so I decided this was for the best. This font always almost makes it look like it's handwritten though, if you squint. <laughs> that's fine mate, like it doesn't, it doesn't have to be handwritten and it can be written on the computer, that's fine. At least then you get auto spell check. <laughs> Winning! Um, I wanted to send you this letter as a thank you for everything that you do. For the most part, for most of my late teens and early twenties I was very depressed. Now at 22, well same age as me. I'm finally starting to come out of it, and I think you played a huge role in that. The happy-go-lucky energy that you bring in every single one of your videos are contagious to the point where it's impossible not to just smile and forget about all the curveballs life keeps throwing at you. Anyway, enough of this happy stuff. I live on a farm here in Sweden. We have four horses, 11 sheep, three ducks, two rabbits, three cats and a dog. That explains the picture. A whole bunch of chickens running around everywhere too. When I'm not feeding the animals, so basically never, um, seriously do you know how much those bastards eat? Yeah, chickens they eat a lot. I've got a cat here again guys, I'm sorry. Lemon, really? Come on dude, Th this is really rude. Oh goodness me, okay, yes, yes, okay, lemon. <laughs> Lemon! <laughs> Get out of the tea! Fuck, you sit. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that, uh, Eric. I just looked down at the bottom. I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> um. Okay. So basically never, seriously do you know how much those bastards eat? Or watching your videos, I like to write and of course play video games. Fun fact about Sweden, it's covered in a thick layer of snow most of the year. Oh, I knew that. 
I didn't know that. I knew it snowed there, but I didn't realize that it was for most of the year. Which is why we Swedes learn to ride polar bears from an early age, kind of like how you Aussies have your kangaroos. <laughs> That's <laughs> I found your cheese. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I found your channel a little over half a year ago when I happened across your Last of Us playthrough. The Last of Us is one of my favourite games and I love every minute of your playthroughs. Even though I'm generally not a fan of Let's Play type videos, when I finished it I thought, that was great! Almost as good as playing it for the first time. So I scoured the internet for more of the Last of Us playthroughs, but quickly realised that, that it wasn't a game that you made your video so... Hang on. But I quickly realised that it wasn't the game that made your video so enjoyable. It was you and the way you approached the games. So again, thank you for doing what, you're, what you do. I know you didn't get paid much, but you deserve it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm broke, but I included what I could. A... Mm, Femti O-Ring. It's used to be... It used to be one of our smallest form of currency. Worth about 7 cents in US dollars. But they were removed as a currency four years ago. So now it's not even worth that. And a picture of some chickens <laughs> strutting like around like they own the place. I tried to get a picture of me riding a polar bear, but alas, it is summertime, so they're all on vacation. <laughs> <You know. laughs> so this is... <laughs> this is what he calls a fem to... I, re I I don't know how to pronounce that. So, oh, here we go. So this is the other way. So that's worth about seven cents US. And then if we go the other side, got the three crowns and stuff. That is so cool. I have Swedish currency. Oh, my hand's bleeding because my cat scratched me. It's okay. Um, oh my god. I love foreign currency. This is so cool. Oh my god. It says Sverig. 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 Oh, crumbs. Sverig. Oh no, hang on. No, Sverig. Or. Or. And the three crowns. What are the three crowns supposed to represent? And then it has 2009. So this coin was made back in 2009. So this is probably one of the last batch of um, coins that they would have made if it was gotten rid of about four years ago. That was 2010. This is a part of history, mate. This is really, really cool. This is really cool. It may not be worth anything now, but to a collector in the future, maybe. I'm gonna keep it. And then we've got a picture of the chickens. I was just like, why is he sending me a picture of his cock? You know, I get it. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I um, used to have chooks as a kid, um, heaps of them. And then we got bantams, which are like these fluffy, like chicken things that got tufts on their heads. And oh man, they're, they're so funny. And they're so much better than chooks in a way, because they're a lot more loving, like chooks, like, they definitely own the place, like these types of chooks. But bantams, they're more like a part of the family, they're, they're really cool, I love them. Thank you so much for your letter, Eric, that really means a lot. And oh my gosh, Sweden, Sweden currency, I, I just, that's so cool, I love it. It's really hard, like, because I love currency and I'd love to collect it from all the places, but it's really hard, you know, sort of asking for it, because I know how hard it is to try and raise money. I'm. I'm trying so hard myself, I've got to raise $18,000 to finish building my house and it's just, oh, it's really, really hard. I don't know how, I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to have to go out and buy it, like get another loan or something. I don't really want to think about it right now because that was the money that I wanted to use on the solar panels, so 
Trust, I really, really appreciate that so much. Thank you so much. On to the next one. We have a parcel from the Czech Republic. Whoa! I don't know where that is, but I'm going to look it up later. <laughs> the Czech this is so cool and it feels like really flexible so I'm thinking it's some sort of maybe like a t-shirt or something am I that lucky to actually receive a t-shirt I'll read the letter first always got to read the letter first Oh, look at this, Eric. It's another computer one. So don't feel bad, mate. That's, oh. Hi, Oz. I'm writing you from 16,266 kilometers away. Far out. That's, that's, wow. First of all, let me say that I don't want to waste your time for too long, as I know you're a very busy person, so I'll try to be brief. Even so, there is much I'd like to say to you. Good one, mate. It's a letter. I'll make times for letters. First time I've seen you, your channel was on the Telltale Games forums in the topic about YouTubers' reaction to The Walking Dead, uh, Season 1, Episode 5. Yep. And well, since then, I was really watching you closely, especially The Walking Dead and Wolf Among Us gameplays, as I love these games myself. I was amazed. I think it's quite unique to see someone so empathetic, oh, so empathetic play such games. Um, one would perhaps say you do overreact sometimes. <laughs> Especially on my season one, but I think people who say this don't realize that you can actually get into the game so much and live through it And live it through having even deeper experience filled with the empathy and the feels for the characters That's what makes you And therefore your channel so special to me. Sorry. Um I just started getting flashbacks about my season one walkthrough and um, there's a lot of things that I didn't say during my playthrough that the reason why you know some of it hit so hard I was <clears throat> especially the culture one that that really got to me so and, and plus like that was like the beginning of my channel for me is the, the season one walkthroughs of The Walking Dead that was like not one of my first playthroughs, but it was definitely one of my earlier ones. And, um... <clears throat> therefore, you know, movies... I don't find movies as good anymore. I don't really enjoy movies. Because I feel like a lot of them are just so... Stereotyped. No offence, but very Americanized. It's a different sort of humour, a different sort of sadness to what, you know, maybe I wanted. And yeah, just the, especially with The Walking Dead season one, it just dealt with things that I didn't realize, you know, could ever be possible, especially in games. I was just like, when I was told to play Spec Ops, which was probably one of the first games I ever played that made me look at myself, well, made me have a good hard look at myself and just like, what the fuck? And then The Walking Dead came along and I was just like, it was pretty, yeah. So yeah, a lot of people would say that I'm overreacting and I'll make a special rant as well uh, to why that is, I think. My old manager, the lady that I used to work with, kind of pointed it out when I had um, bad experience with a customer <laughs> that wasn't very happy with me, but I'll explain that another time. So I think there's a bit more deep, a bit more of a deeper meaning, I think. I don't even realize that I'm doing it because I just get so engrossed by it. But anyway, let's get on with the thing. <laughs> also, I think you are you are just a cool person, slightly younger than me, cool, smart, and is honored to be subscribed. Oh, thank you so much. As I hope this letter and the whole package finds you safely on the other side of the world, you can probably already see that I've sent you a t-shirt. It's my custom design, which means you and me are the only two people on the planet that have such a t-shirt. It features my favourite line from the season 2 of The Walking Dead as I adore Clem and I want to believe that such uh, that such kid person can choose does exist. 
<laughs> okay. There's a lot of like slashes going on there, so I want to believe that such a kid slash person can slash does exist. And also, please, please, please keep up the good work you're doing. You might not have millions of subscribers, but for me, you're worth more than those millions. P.S. I have I have never posted anything beyond my country's borders, but this time I felt the need to do that. P.S.S. Uh, P. I think you meant to go P.P.S. I think it is. Um, what are your hopes for the final episode of The Walking Dead and perhaps season three? Question mark. Sincerely, John. Uh, solar System. Dot Earth. Dot Central Europe. Dot Oh, so Central Europe. Um, Czech Republic. And then we've got a picture of it's from DeviantArt, and it's got Bigby or Adam Harrington, scared of wolves. I'm not scared. Tough kid. I love that. That is just the coolest thing in the whole world. Where hopes, hopes for final episode of The Walking Dead. Um, I, I really don't know. I, I'm hoping at least in season three that we have a bit more character development. That's that's what I'm hoping for at least. Um, I think that's the reason why I enjoyed The Wolf Among Us a bit more maybe than The Walking Dead. But The Walking Dead definitely deal with some issues so far that I think are really cool. Um, <laughs> I just put it this way. I don't think anybody would want me in a zombie apocalypse. I'm too much of a survivalist. I can't believe I'm getting my own t-shirt. Okay, I gotta back up for this. Back up, back up, back up. Oh my god. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Hang on. Oh. Maybe it's better if I do that. Still not bitten. It's it's an extra large as well. That's that's playing it safe, mate. That's awesome. I can wear it as like a nighty. Oh my god. <laughs> This is so cool! Look at this, ready? Ready? Hang on, I gotta back up. What do you reckon? Does it make my bum look big? <laughs> That's so cool! Thank you so much, mate! That's the coolest thing in the whole wide world! Is it Jan or John? It says John on your thing. Maybe that's a typo error. It says Jan on the front. Or maybe that was like your m girlfriend or your mum. That might have said that. But it says John on here, so John, Jan, whoever you are. Thank you so much. That really means a lot. Oh, that's so cool. I'm going to show Mel this. Mel Hutchinson. I'm going to like tweet it to her. And she'll be like, still not bitten. I'm going to ask her if it's one of her favourite lines. Okay, last but not least, the biggest package of them all. <laughs> That's what she said. God, it's getting hot in here now. <laughs> Putting on that, I've got the heater on and I'm wearing like three layers of shirts and then this one on top. It makes a big difference. And it's a lovely quality shirt. Thank you so much. That, that's like really, really nice quality. Oh, man. I need to set up a spread shirt and then get Christy, my girl, um, or Invisible Rain on Twitter. If you haven't followed her already, please do that. She's the one that does our thumbnails. And um, get her to draw some ones for, like, you know, spread shirt and, like, maybe you guys would be interested in purchasing them or not. I don't know if there's really a demand. It's not hard to set up one, I guess. It's just getting round to it, you know. Having a good chat to Christy. Oh! This is so <laughs> Oh, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. There's something on here. I don't want to rip it. Hang on. Wait. Enter this way. The end. <laughs> it's highly inappropriate. <laughs> it's like a bum there. I don't know if it's like YouTube appropriate. Oh my god. Ugh. This says Lucy. Oh. I wonder if that's Lucy as in Lucy Lucy as in like Oh come on Ugh. 
This is the return address. Don't. Oh my God. Open a long dotted line. Okay. Thank you. Because Ozzy's a numpty and probably would have opened it on the other side. I feel like opening up on the other side just to be like. <laughs> but no, no, I'm not that cruel. Hang on, hang on. There. There. We're getting there. Ugh. It's like more wrapping. <laughs> oh my god, what the juice is that? Okay. You're a wizard, Harry. Oh, oh. We've got something else there. And then we got the letter. Read me! Like I'm gonna. I put my hand down the bottom and I got slightly concerned because I felt something. What in the world is that? Oh, that's giving me shiver up my spine because I was only expecting shredded paper and all of a sudden I get. What is that? <laughs> I just. I know what it is, but like, I just thought it was like a spider. Oh my god, it scared the shit out of me because it was black. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, look at him. What? Is that a... No way. <laughs> wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Hang on, hang on. Ready? So cool. I wonder if I could give that to my cat. Although, because it's like a rubbery, latexy sort of thing, um, he'll probably like chew it to bits. You know what that reminds me of is actually um, a spirit away, spirited away, and those little coal things. You know, with the little googly eyes, the coal things. You know, when with that guy with the multiple arms. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else apart from like shredded paper. So. God, it scared the absolute crap out of me. I don't know why, because I knew... Oh, man. Okay. Read me first. Okay. Probably shouldn't have peeked at that. I'm ashamed of myself. I should really focus on... It's really hard when you don't have things wrapped, when you put them in the parcel and stuff, because obviously I get spoilers. But yeah. But I get spoilers from the letters as well. Sorry. Look at this. Isn't this crazy? They're all typed. They're all typed. Isn't it funny how, like, all the other weeks I get handwritten ones and then I have Eric saying, Oh, I'm sorry, this is... It's fine, everyone seems to be doing it now. Um... Oh, it's Eccentric Jedi from YouTube and Kyla from Twitch. Hey, Lucy, it's really nice to know your name. Hey, Oz, I discovered your channel searching for The Last of Us. Oh, got everyone found me from that. I found a comment on a random channel pointing you out. Oh, okay. On the first video, you just re reached the part where Tommy stayed behind so Joel could run with Sarah. I'll always remember you tearing up and saying, It's too early to be losing anyone. They wouldn't do that. No, no, they wouldn't, would they? I already seen the game once before, so I knew what was coming. That moment when I saw, when I knew it was going to be an interesting experience watching the game with you. I've been making my way through all your videos since then. It's great to see someone who's just as involved with the games as I am. You have a great comment. You have great commentary and humor. Your video design helps you to be closer to your audience, like sitting with a friend to play a game. Please don't ever change that. However, it does make me wonder sometimes if you get nervous knowing how many people are constantly staring at that display. No, I've never really thought about it. The way that the reason why I have it the way I have it is so then obviously my big fat face doesn't, you know, block any of the game footage. Because I, I did originally think about putting it out in the corner, you know, for my friends, but this was back in Amnesia. And this was long before, you know, I knew this was a thing on YouTube. Um, and like there was a moment we in Amnesia that like the door opened and then there was like wisps of wind with rose petals or whatever, like going through it and like where my face was, it was just gonna get in the way, and I was like, oh, this isn't gonna fucking work, because then they won't even see where, what I'm getting scared at, you know. So that's the reason why I started doing that, and I got a lot of shit when other people just randomly started finding my channel, saying, well, why do you do it like that? And it's like, well, it's not for you to watch, it's for my friends. So, but obviously that's, <laughs> you know, gone. 
a little bit further than that now. Um, I've seen you. I've sent you some shiny things. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, where are they? Oh, I missed your birthday. So think of this as a late birthday slash early Christmas bundle. There are two games from a series that I played when I was your age. Yes, I'm that old. Really? They were re-released recently, but in my opinion, the originals are far superior. It's rare to get them for PC, so they're pre-owned. The storylines are unrelated, so play in any order you like. Please give them a good home. I hope you enjoy them. The other shiny thing is a canvas print. Do take care removing it from the tube. Oh, thank you for the warning. I hope to see you on YouTube and Twitch whenever you have the time. Take care. P.S. Stick your hand in the box to find hidden shiny at the bottom. Hint, it's made of rubber and it vibrates when you pull it. Kaffa. Oh, girl. Now he's speaking my language. No, I'm just I'm kidding. <laughs> yes, I'm well acquainted with your friend here. Oh, that's so cool. So what should we go first? I think we should go with the poster first. Um, I presume that's with canvas print. Sorry, canvas. Oh, I'm so excited. And if I can, I'll get this laminated. We've got to be really, really careful, guys. Just really, really careful. Lucy, I'm pretty sure... Aren't you on, um... I'm pretty sure you're the one that keeps messaging... Well, not messaging me, messaging me on Facebook and stuff, but I'm pretty sure you're Lucy from, from um, uh, Twitter as well. I should say Twitter. I do read... You have the last of us picture. Yeah, no, I know you. I know you. I've got you, girl. It's lovely to see girls on my channel, to be honest, because back in the early days, I had a really good stack going where it had like 40% of people that were watching me were female. Not that I don't mind me females like watching me and stuff like that but unfortunately that stat's gone down to 18% so we, we've got a bit of a sausage fest going on with our channel <laughs> I love saying that sausage fest <laughs> it's highly inappropriate <clears throat> I'm professional laws. um um <laughs> so you know it's, it's cool though it's cool so it's really good to see girls here it just gives me confidence because I know myself when I watch women on TV and stuff like that, and when they're doing things inappropriately, you know, it just it just demeans us as women. So it's really comforting to watch women, well, having women watch women because it's a bit different. You know, I feel like I'm doing things appropriately, and that, you know, I'm not for show. If you know what I mean? Like, oh, it's really hard to explain. So it it's lovely seeing women in the channel. And we had one, yeah, one right to me. I got confused with the other one that we had because it said <laughs> Jan on the front, so I don't know what's with that. Okay. Oh my god, this cling wrap. Oh my god. You like my boyfriend. He he puts so much cling wrap around my bread rolls for work. It's a task. To get them. Take care of Zen. Just wanna ruin it. I wanna get it shinies. I love shiny things. I, it's funny because I'm not a jewelry person at all, but I don't know. Just games, shinies, collectibles. I think it got drilled into me, especially with Bioshock Infinite, because I did a lot of the game in just one sit through, one in one sitting. So I didn't see the comments that people were writing, obviously, because I'd already written it. And as I was uploading, people were like, "Oh, you missed this, and you missed that, and you missed this, and you missed that." And so now I just don't want to miss anything. I didn't want to get my head chopped off. And even when I do make an attempt to like get everything, everyone's like, you still miss stuff. And I'm like, no. Okay, hang on. We're getting there. We're nearly there. Oh, I can't laminate this. This is too. Ooh. Crap, This is not what I was expecting. I was expecting like, you know, wood. Uh, not wood. Paper. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Thank you so much. 
Oh, wow. I'm going to get that framed. I'm going to get that framed. <laughs> oh, my God. That is so cool. Just the combination of, like, the T-shirt and now this is so overwhelming. Um, oh, God. It's really hard because, obviously... But you get the general idea of what this is. When I get it framed... Um, oh, God damn it. Hang on. Um, oh my god, that's awesome, Lucy. <laughs> that is just the coolest thing. Oh, thank you so much. It's like this um, sort of like thread work fabric like stuff. It's like it's really like nylon y. Can you? Uh, I don't know how to. I don't know how to explain it. Lucy, you might, maybe you might be able to help me in the comment section. Oh my god, thank you so much. Oh, I can't wait to hang that up. That is just the coolest, coolest, coolest thing. T-shirt and the little vibrating thing. I mean, what girl wouldn't love? I don't know. Oh no, no! Oh my god! I hope that they work here. But I've actually just bought number one on um, PlayStation. But if it's on PC, God, I can't believe I just spent ten bucks on that. If it's on PC, then I can use my capture card and be so much easier. You guys are gonna freak when you see this. Wait for it. You ready? That better not be. So is this like... Oh no, this is okay. This is good. This is good. <sighs> Yay! Can't say I'm as enthusiastic about this because this is the one where Pyramid Head Dude is introduced, isn't it? Yay! Nightmares for life. And we've got number three as well oh my god lucy thank you so much no i really am thank you thankful so much i think i am getting sent um two and three from someone else which might be the hd one so i don't know what to go with oh and i bought number one on the playstation um store so i will be starting that soon hopefully um but uh, not for a while i want to get cry fear out of the way and finish that off before I start anything else. But oh my god. The silence is broken. James Sunderland's life is shattered when his young wife Mary suffers a tragic death. Okay, three years later, a mysterious letter arrives from Mary, beckoning him, beckoning him to return to their sanctuary of memories, the realm of Silent Hill. Now James must go back to that special place to uncover the truth, unaware that the answers he seeks require the ultimate sacrifice. The most terrifying gaming experience ever comes to PC. Battle horrifying creatures with a large arsenal of weapons and items, riveting storyline, two playable characters, and true to life CG movies leave you on the edge of your seat atmospheric lighting and dolby digital surround sound shift and change at each terrifying turn and you sort of semi see pyramid guy up there let me full focus there we go sort of semi see wow that's um i think you lucy you're going to be much 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 loved <laughs> among the whole like community that we have here oh my god so between Lucy, Eric, and John, you guys are 
absolutely amazing. Thank you all so much for your gifts. I mean, the coin, where's the coin gone? Here's somewhere, here we go. Between the coin, the shirt, the poster, the vibrating thing, the fucking games. I just, I, I really, I really can't thank you guys enough. Yeah. I love this sort of stuff. This is, I, it's, it's more than like, I love the letters in particular, that they are the most important thing to me. These extra things that you guys sent to me, I just, I really am overwhelmed at, at that you guys take the time to do this for me. I just, it, it, it keeps you going, honestly. And so I, I love receiving letters. So if you haven't already, you can check the about tab on my YouTube because I feel like it just makes it all real, you know. It's it's one thing to see comments and stuff on YouTube, and I know you're there, and I know you're watching, and, and things like this. But to actually have physically have something from you guys is just, it's just so surreal. You touch this, it, it's been with you. It's wow. Thanks so much guys. Like, favorite, subscribe. Remember, I'm not playing The Walking Dead for a while. Be patient. And I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you so much.